Here we see a redox reaction and the question is asking you to balance the redox reaction. So the question, the first question you may ask is how do you know it is a redox reaction? So first, before we do anything, we are going to assign oxidation number. And this should be a revision of what you knew from the previous week. Uh, we have been practicing assigning oxidation number for four days already. So this should not be a problem by now. So here you see a 10 SN. It is an element by itself, so it would have an oxidation number of zero. Silver is a silver ion. It is a mono, monatomic ion. Okay, so the charge, the value of the charge is going to be the oxidation number. So it's going to be plus one. Now, I have two things to remind you. First, even though it is a positive, it is an it is a positive number, you still have to write down the positive sign. Second, the way to write oxidation number is different from the way we write charge because charge and oxidation number are two totally different things. So let me uh, let me address this. Here you see the charge, okay, it's just a plus, we don't write the one. Uh, if you look at here, it's two plus. So the way we write charge is that we use a number and then followed by a sign. And for oxidation number, we are going to write the sign first and then followed by a number. So please keep that in mind. And then 10, 2 plus, we have plus 2 since it is a monatomic ion. Silver, it is going to be 0. And uh, one thing that I, that I observed in, cl in class is that many people are not being able to, to define the difference between um, or to differentiate, the dif uh, to differentiate an ion and an element by itself. So just look at the charge. If there's no charge like this, it's just an element, it will have an oxidation number of zero. If there is a charge, it is an ion. So the charge is going to be the oxidation number. Now, what you do here is that you look at the oxidation number for each element. So let's look at 10. 10 on the on the reactant side it is 0 and going to the right hand side you have plus 2. So to uh, make it a little bit graphical to understand it is that the 10 is going from 0 going up to positive 2. And if you see a reaction or if you see an increase of oxidation number, it means it is an oxidation process. Okay? This is oxidation. So we can write this equation and what we call this is a half e reaction because it is only half of the picture. Okay. Here. And we're not done yet here, but let me just write write it here. And then we look at silver. Silver here is plus one and going to the product side it is zero. So silver is actually going down. So I can write silver is going from plus one down to zero. And when you see a decrease of oxidation number, it means reduction. Okay? So we have a G plus silver ion going to silver metal. Okay? And uh, as, as I said before, this is not done yet because we have to balance this half reaction. Okay? Then you ask, well, what is not balanced? There's 110, there's 110 here is balanced, right? Well, you look at here, there's a charge. There's a two plus charge. And on the right, the charge is just zero. So what we need to do is to make sure that this charge is also balanced. And what we can use in balancing half equation and redox reaction for the charge is using electrons. So, 
since the electron is negatively charged that means we can only bring the charge down to match each other so guess what we are going to put electrons on the right and we are going to put two electrons because we need two minus charge to balance the two plus charge so that the overall charge on the product side is zero which would be the same as the one on the reactant side same thing on the reduction half half reaction the overall charge on the left is plus the overall charge on the right is zero therefore we are going to add electrons on the left and we can only add we just need to add one electron okay and what you should realize is that oxidation in any half reaction that is an oxidation process you will always see electrons on the right on the other hand for reduction you would always you should always see the electrons on the uh, on the reactant side and if you see the electrons on the same side when you're doing half reactions something is wrong okay and um, and this is one way to check it the other way to check it is when we see oxidation when we talk about oxidation we are talking about the element losing the electron and it is because it's losing the electron it becomes more positive therefore we see a positive change in the oxidation number right here okay for reduction the oxidation number is getting more negative and the reason why it is becoming more negative is because we are adding electrons to the element to become more negative all right therefore what we can do to form an overall equation is that I'm going to put this away let me draw an arrow right here is that we're going to balance it and our goal is to make sure the number of electrons would match each other and here we don't see it because we see two electrons here one electron right here what we need to do multiply the entire equation by two okay so that we have two electrons two silver ion and two silver metal and what happened what happened next is when we add these two equations together this electron and this electron these two electrons would cancel out because they are at the same quantity and they are at the opposite side of the reaction so I can go ahead and write out the, the resulting equation so I have 1 10 and I'm going to have 2 silver ion okay and I'm not going to write the electrons because they are going to be eliminated on the product side we have 10 2 plus and 2 silver metal and make sure that you put this two into each item in the equation don't make any careless stupid mistake okay and this will be the a balanced redox reaction